you are about to embark on a spectacular journey. Prepare yourself with a calm breath and open mind. Have you ever noticed that when we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change? Then consider the greatest source of light in the known universe, the sun. You have seen the sun and its brilliant rays of golden light thousands of times in your life. Yet, I ask you as your humble guide on this expedition to look again at the sun you see here. Now, remember back to a time in your life when you thought that anything was possible. Think back to when you used to capture your dreams with crayons on paper and sticks in the sand. Remember the sun that used to shine over your childhood. The same sun that shines over you now. The same sun that shall transport us via its light to a place of tremendous supernatural power. We are going to a realm where some things will seem very familiar and some things will seem strange in an enchanted sense. Feel yourself, your true self, a being of sight and sound ascending above any of your perceived limitations. In an instant, you are there. And there is the familiar sun, golden, bright, flawless. It glows in its stillness and creates a ballet of light upon the stream of perfect blue waters below it. Waters, a gentle warm, wherein your feet bask and you feel renewed. For these are the waters of an enchanted realm, a realm I must ask you to remember is named Ora Om. This is a stream of the most pure and fantastic water. Therefore, I have prepared this healing, purified water into crystal vases. The vases are made of Araomian crystal, which amplifies the positive energy of anything encased within it. I ask you to drink of these waters now, so that you may take a newly improved physical body and functioning mind back to your old world. Why must you go back? Because you are a hero in that realm. On so many levels, they cannot be described in mortal terms. Just know you are needed there. Yet it is from here, this magic realm, that you shall be newly empowered. Where the natural being you are becomes the supernatural being you are capable of becoming. What are these soothing, magical sounds, you ask? They are the sound waves emanating from the Muse Goddess's magical harp. It is played with her supernatural mind and empowers your every move within this realm. For music, at its full potential, is the bridge between the mortal and the immortal. It is something spiritual, emotional, and even physical as it massages the physical fibers of your eardrums. This Muse Goddess is here for another reason as well. She is the female and embodies the unconditional, supernatural love bond commonly intertwined between the rhythmic heartbeats of a mother and her infant child. This higher form of love is one you will experience here and carry back to your home world. Once you have returned there, so many will see in your eyes that you have experienced the loving gaze of a higher form of love, that you are already beginning to attract others who function on this elevated level of love. She plays the music of the master musical healer known as Chromaticus, one who escapes the ego of presenting himself as the focal point and instead allows the immortal music that flows through him to stand solo upon the stage that only your true inner spirit can see and hear. The music is our tie between the natural and the supernatural, the mortal and the immortal. Just let it move in waves throughout this magnificent atmosphere. 
here in the realm of Aura Om. Know that this same music, when created as your own soundtrack within your home world, may produce near unbelievable miracles quite relative to what you are experiencing here in Aura Om. Especially if you don't hold any expectations of it. Just look, listen, and enjoy. Now, glance back at the sun, if you will. The sun here and in your home world will henceforth be your cue to happiness. Every time you see or even think of the sun from now on, you will attract the highest levels of happiness just as you are attracting them now here from the flawless realm of Aura Om. And what lies beneath the sun? The pure and empowered waters of this Aura Omian stream. These waters are now the touchstone for your new, exponentially improving health. You have already been renewed and restored here in this magical realm of Aura Om, but rest assured, this new level of health will return with you to your home world as well. Do you not believe me? Do you fret for even a moment that you do not have so much luck? That this is not true? Then there is someone I would like you to meet. This is Lucky. Lucky the Catechus. Here on Aura Om, cats are referred to with the royal suffix as an addendum. Thus you may call Lucky simply Lucky the Cat if you wish. Lucky has supernatural abilities when it comes to attracting luck. Thus the legend of the nine lives. In fact, he told me you might be skeptical of all we wish to give you here in this realm. So he had some friends gather you up a gift. Look at what Lucky has brought you. Those sacks are bursting with the currency of your home world. They will be delivered to you in consistent, recurring, and pleasantly surprising intervals once you are back in your old home world. That is, of course, if you ask nicely. Lucky does require as payment for his services that you ask and give before you can receive. So as your informed guide, I ask you to ask Lucky now with these words. I ask you for tremendous financial wealth to begin filling my life at regular, consistent, and recurring intervals. Thank you. Shh, wait. Okay. Lucky just communicated something to me through ESP. He said to tell you to be aware of two things when you go back to your home world. His descendants and trees, especially when you happen to notice the two together in any sense. He says don't try to force anything to happen. Just be happy when you see his descendants and or trees. Oh, by the way, Lucky's descendants are simply the cats of your home world. All cats, large and small, are technically descendants of Lucky's, so just enjoy them, watch them, and it may very well begin to seem as if money is growing on trees. It's okay if you don't understand that last comment right now. Lucky says you will. You will. <laughs> oh, by the way, there is another reason we brought you here. Every hero deserves a castle. This will be one of yours. You will be collecting many, and this is just the first of them. I will tell you what this castle stands for. Do you see the cracks where the gray stone bricks show through? This is not a flaw in design. These openings are here to show you how well protected your newly discovered assets are and will be. Whenever you gain something in your old homeworld, where you are a hero of valiant service to humanity and all living things, you will remember this Aura Omian castle. You will remember it is yours and it is enchanted with protective power. It is immense and strong and forged with the immovable, unbreakable sacred stones of Aura Om. And it is yours. It is time now for us to take an inventory of what you have gained thus far on this journey. 
one happiness which in its symbolic form shall henceforth for you be the sun two health which in its symbolic form for you is now water three love which in its symbolic form is the heart four luck which as its ambassadors are the cats of your world who are the offspring of lucky the great catacus of oraom five wealth which shall hold as its marker the trees that fill the landscape of your own home world you are being called back by your heroic destiny now allow first the sound waves of this miraculous music to elevate you from this spectacular terrain you can return here any time you are in need through the seemingly innocent portal we have physically placed in your old home world you will know the location when it presents itself to you and now the sound waves of the magnificent music have elevated you to the familiar marker of happiness the sun You have seen the sun and its brilliant golden light thousands of times throughout your life. Yet if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. There again, the sun, the familiar, and so too do the things around you again become familiar. The glass screen, the electronic device, and your surrounding world. You are now receiving the rewards you acquired in Aura Be sure to accept your deliveries as they appear in your world. Remember, do not try to force the creation of a positive energy wave. Just be ready to ride these amazing waves when they arrive. Thank you.